Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. In this video we're going to have a look at the new build of uh, Windows 10 Mobile. This is 15.222 for mobile. And um, I'm actually using different capture software this time for the phone. I'm using uh, Project, my phone uh, tool from Microsoft. I used Continuum last time, but in this new build of Windows 10, the Continuum um, app no longer works. So you open it and... Uh, it cra opens and then crashes. So I won't be using that app, but I will be using this. So you can see here, here's my uh, Lumia 950 XL. Now, it's probably looked longer to explain um, why I'm using this than <laughs> its actual changes to the OS, whereas the PC build's got absolute ton of changes. Um, so many that you, know, you couldn't even really cover them all in a hands-on video, but there is one on our YouTube channel where I've covered some of the, the features I like the best. And um, this is definitely not the case for for mobile. There is a couple of fixes and that's about it. So here you can see the main fix is this copyright message there. It says 2017 instead of 2016. Believe it or not that was one of the, the changes. It does include a couple of fixes from um, some hot fixes as well um, which I'll include a link on the digitallife.com for what those are. They fixed an issue with WhatsApp where it wouldn't it wouldn't open. It will do now. They fixed Japanese keyboard issues, Bulgarian keyboard issues, and they fixed the reliability of notifications for paired app uh, devices, Bluetooth devices like Fitbit. Um, so that's that's good to see they fixed those. They've improved the time and language settings uh, user page for speech and keyboard language downloads. So previously it would say downloading or installing, but it wouldn't give you a clue that you needed to restart, and that's n now there. Um, they fixed some enterprise uh, device management issues and they fixed an issue with, not with notifications on cross uh, device settings from Cortana where they're not being mirrored. So that's where your notifications are coming through and they weren't then being pushed through to your uh, Windows 10 PC. And um, I can't say I've seen that many cases of that, but uh, of, of them not showing up. But anyway, they fixed some issues with that. And there's just the one known issue, WeChat may not launch on... Uh, may, may crash on launch and that's it and that's been around for a long while so very um, limited set of changes nothing ex exciting certainly nothing as exciting as the PC build there's a ton of changes but anyway maintenance fixes go on at least we're getting some updates and uh, you can find the full details on the digitallives.com and if you go on a YouTube channel you can see all the other build videos including the PC video and the early previews of Windows 10 Mobile so that's 15222 for Windows 10 Mobile thanks for watching this one